In a significant development, the Aeronautical Development Agency has started preliminary design phase of the twin-engine deck-based fighter jet, and the design phase will be completed by 2024. The preliminary design phase is being undertaken in three stages. The aerodynamic configuration will be refined and optimized through CFD analysis in the first phase, a wind tunnel model will be made in the second phase for low and high speed wing tunnel testing, and in the third phase, wind tunnel testing will be done on DSI Aerontex and the Canards. The first flight of TED-BF will be conducted by end of 2026, and after four years of testing, the TED-BF will be ready for production in 2030. India has accelerated the development of the Prali canisterized tactical surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missile, and as per latest information, five Prale missiles are being fabricated, which will be delivered by March 2023, that will be used for user induction trials. The 500 km range Prale missile will become part of Regiment of Artillery, and later will join the upcoming rocket force, to carry out precision conventional strikes. India also aims to export the Prale missile to friendly countries in the region. Adani Defence and Aerospace will invest 1,500 crore rupees to create South Asia's largest integrated ammunition manufacturing complex in Kanpur. The facility will be spread over more than 250 acres, and will have best-in-class technologies to manufacture small and medium caliber ammunition, along with short-range air defense missiles. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has started the process to procure equipment, that will be used for the development of an attack variant of the light utility helicopter. HAL will carry out an essential modification to the original airframe, so that it can be equipped with a forward-looking infrared camera, turret gun, rockets, air-to-air -air missiles and anti-tank guided missiles. The attack variant will also have additional sensors to support aerial reconnaissance troop transport and close air support. The Warship Design Bureau has been instructed to work on a new design for a Kato bar system for 65,000 ton aircraft carrier, that will support a carrier capable tactical airborne early warning aircraft and naval unmanned combat aerial vehicle. US has offered the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, but the technology is still very expensive, and it still has high downtime, due to which steam powered catapult launch system might be selected by the Indian Navy. On the sale of spare parts and equipments for F-16 fighter jets to Pakistan, the U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for South Asia Donald Liu has said, that the U.S. government supports American defense equipment that have been provided to a country. This support is limited to spare parts or maintenance, and does not offer more capabilities or new weapons, and the U.S. proposes to provide servicing so that the Pakistani F-16 meets air safety standards. The Indian Army's Kaga Corps and the Indian Air Force conducted a joint Texas Is Gagan strike in Punjab, that showcased precision firepower of the attack helicopters in coordination with ground forces and mechanized columns, practicing swift penetration into enemy territory in the western sector. It validated the Apache and Rudra armed helicopters as potent weapons delivery platforms, and achieved synergy between combat elements. Thank <laughs> you.